Hello everybody, my name is Dean Davis and this is Multiply, the podcast that provides a word of encouragement for village church planters. The Bible is full of stories and instructions about giving blessings. Christians often say, God bless you, but many times we miss the opportunity to truly bless other people. A blessing is a statement spoken to another person or group of people made in faith, declaring a desire for God's favor to be upon them. Like prayers, blessings are spoken in faith, but prayers are directed to God. Blessings are spoken to other people. Like prayer, blessings spoken in faith are powerful. God is delighted to fulfill the blessing spoken in love by men and women of God. Our Heavenly Father delights in bringing to pass our blessings that are spoken in faith and align with His good and gracious will. As a church planter, you have dozens of opportunities every day to speak words of blessing. You can bless believers and unbelievers with your words. The Apostle Paul serves us as a great example of a man of God who blessed others. His blessings like all true blessings, were motivated by love. He loved the Thessalonian believers. He longed to see them. He wanted them to prosper spiritually, emotionally, and as a church. He wanted God's favor to rest upon them. He desired the very best for them. So he blessed them. 1 Thessalonians 3, 12 and 13 is a great example of a blessing motivated by love expressed with faith, and conformed to the will of God. Paul wrote, May the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you. May he strengthen your hearts so that you will be blameless and holy in the presence of our God and Father when our Lord Jesus comes with all his holy ones. Paul had expressed his love for the Thessalonians again and again. There is no doubt that this blessing was motivated by love. And Paul knew that God's will for his people is that we live holy and blameless lives, that we reject sin, and that we honor God. So in faith, he made his declaration of blessing. We bless people because we love them and we want God's grace to abound in their lives. Of course, this is the same reason we pray for people, but when we bless people by speaking directly to them to declare God's favor upon them, they have a chance to respond. I'm sure when the Thessalonians read Paul's words of blessing, desiring that they live blameless and holy lives, their first response was something like this, Amen. May it be so, just as you have said. Paul expressed faith when he blessed them. The Thessalonians expressed faith when they received the blessing. The one who blessed and the one who received the blessing agreed in faith. When followers of Jesus agree in faith for the will of God to be done, great things happen. God moves and his blessings flow. Church planter, Perhaps you rarely declare a blessing on the members of your church or upon your neighbors, but blessing others is a powerful tool God has given you to release his goodness and grace upon needy people. So pronounce blessings with greater frequency. It may feel awkward at first, but keep trying. Your Father in heaven delights to fulfill your blessing declared in faith and motivated by love. This has been Multiply, and I'm Dean Davis asking, who will you share this encouraging word with today?